What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging. If you're flying the Phantom 4 Pro, Phantom 4 Multispectral or RTK, in this video we're going to dive into why your propellers may be stuck and how to fix it. So we decided to make this video because at Terrestrial Imaging for our commercial customers will often set up their equipment before they get it. And during these setups, we've noticed with the Phantom 4 Pro uh, version 2, the Phantom 4 Pro RTK and Multispectral, that a lot of them were having issues with super tight propellers on their mounting hubs and motors. And so we even had some customers calling, thinking that their motors may be broken or there's something wrong with the propellers, when in fact they're, they're not. They're just super tight. And the reason they're tight uh, is because there's a very small tolerance between the propeller hub and the propeller. So with that being said, right off the bat, you shouldn't worry if your propellers are really stuck. Um, what we've done, what we found to help, is we'll actually install the propeller on and off a few times and essentially breaks in the propeller. Um, so the trick is to really just compress that spring as much as you possibly can and just get a good grip on it that allows you to turn it at that really compressed spot. And same thing with taking it off. You wanna compress it as much as you possibly can. You don't need to you know, really tighten your hands together too much and really force it, but um, once you're at that bottom position, you just give it a quick twist and you'll feel a little res resistance and then it goes over that hump and then it's installed. Same thing with getting it off. You just twist it a little bit, it gets over that little bit of resistance and then it's off. And then again, you wanna do this a few times and after doing it a few times, it should be a lot easier. Before we wrap up, I wanna leave you with one last tip. Uh, anytime you go to fly your drone, please check your propellers thoroughly and the mounting hubs before you take off, uh, before each flight. And the reason is because you never know if there's any nicks or scratches on your propellers or the propeller hubs. And if you do see a nick or a scratch, you're going to want to replace it immediately uh, to reduce any, any chances of an incident. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more. And visit us online at www.terrestrialengine.com.